Oh. He also had to beat Cheesecake. I he lost. He, he, he had to beat he Cheesecake. Beat, he beat Cheesecake in pools. He beat me in pools. I lost to Dice in pools. What a fiend. I know. What a he slaughter. Had some, he had a really tough bracket. He's on the slaughter like, run today. She's like, oh, Dice had a really tough bracket. He had to beat Cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got Roy versus Snake. We got the rake out here, the Roy Snake matchup. Or also the Snake Roy matchup, the soy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and as we saw earlier, you know, Fry, uh, Frostbite, kind of a really beast up in here. You know, we had our Michigan local series called Frostbite that we don't have anymore, and in place we got Frostbite the player. And, you know, we miss he's him doing, dear. He's doing great. He's really honoring the name well. We miss him, dear, we miss her, the Frostbite bear dearly, but we love Frostbite as player coming back here, so. A T4 right on the ground, yep, good awareness. Not shielding that like she Good to snake up in the air, but gets blown up. Oh, catches Snake's recovery, sending him into the side blast zone. There. It's over there. I was like, why does Snake like down air so much? He's just like there, there. It's like, I don't know, Snake. <laughs> oh my goodness, Frostbite really just keeping a good hold on stage, not letting, really not letting Snake land and get too much off. Ooh, gets hit by the C4, jump in. You gotta watch your head. He's sitting at 122, though. I'm a little... I appreciate the attempt, but it did send him upwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Brandon Gordon here. Kind of just, like, keeping his space, really wanting... Really just wanting Roy to maybe stay away from him a little bit, see if he can rack something up from far away. Oh, but he gets caught. That's a tactic that a lot of like higher level players try to do when they're behind, is they try and slow down the game. Um, but it didn't really work in that situation. Oh, Ooh, well maybe it did work. Him. Yeah, he's dead. Yep. Dead, that down smash. Right, brought it back to even. The down smash has so much knockback. It's really insane how much knockback that has. And a lot of snake players don't use it, so. Brandon Gordon making good use of it, though. Colin gets carried away off stage. He's going to high recover. Hopefully makes it back safely. He gets caught in the air. Good whole shield on the grenade. Maybe get a little bit of space. But he gets caught back again on the top platform. A little bit back and forth. Gets grabbed. Ooh, Dead, caught. Yeah. I saw that missed tech. I said, oh, jab back air. Although, Roy players can mess up the jab back air because sometimes they might do jab forward air because you have to rar, get the reverse aerial rush to get the back air. So, like, it's possible. But. Brandon Gordon taking a nice sip of water. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Always a good idea. That's the key. Oh, Frostbite also taking a sip of water. Okay, so they're on equal hydration planes. <laughs> he air dodges out of it, but he still gets caught up in the air a little bit. Like, sorry, but... Oh, and up, double explosion. Brought 20 seconds in. 
Give me a Guardian 93. Oh yeah. Got a low recover, a little risky. Explosion definitely helped. I would have been nervous. Especially being so high. Yeah. Frostbite goes through these really dangerous offstage situations, but always seems to make it back okay. Oh, gets caught. Good call. Doing the, the bad player me would have just grabbed. Like, oh, I just got like two percent. Ah, but we're back to back. I feel like these games are gonna be really big on the like lots of back and forth. Um, yeah. He got caught, gets carried off stage, recovering high. Ooh, rolled into it. Went for a nice F smash, but alas. Caught? Yep. Up and away a little bit. Oh my gosh, really? Catch, yeah. Bro, Frostbite, man. What a beast. I think, um, he's got like, he's got Roy like figured out, like down pat, it seems like he's. He definitely doesn't miss those jairs. He gets the jairs really no. like pretty much all the time. His spacing and timing, it's all just, it always works out in his favor. His reaction time, he like bit bat boom, oh, smacks yeah. him off the stage. Oh yeah. There's a lot of Roy players at this event. Um, they've all been doing really well so far, but Frostbite's doing incredibly well here. It's like Brandon Gordon tries to build a little bit of a snake wall, grenade C4, and Frostbite finds a way around it, gets in, and is always able to get those confirms. Yeah, oh yeah. And then Brandon Gordon was trying to like slow the game down, and then it's not working. It wasn't working, but. But I wouldn't count him out yet. I think it I worked, like, a, I feel like it worked out a little bit, but Frostbite was kind of able to figure out a way around it. And yeah. Still able to, you know, get in and do what he wanted to do. Good, good roll away there. Catblock kind of on the platforms, excuse me? <laughs> You're excused. I am excused. Oh, good shield. Good avoid on the Nikita. That's so hard to avoid with a recovery like that. Roll, I appreciate that because it would have killed, but. Good catch. Making him kind of recover in some type of way to avoid Nikita and then being able to catch him on the stage was really nice. Oh, the wave land into the up smash, excuse me. That was so good, the spacing on that. And he goes just down and let, he gets it. Just literally go down there. He ain't scared. Just go down there, just He's do not it. even scared of the grenades. He's like, eh, whatever. Just like Bruno Mars, he'll catch a grenade. Doesn't care. He'll, get, he'll catch a grenade for the game. <laughs> We'll catch a grenade for Charlotte. <laughs> oh <laughs> my goodness! It's like he it's like he jumped into the up tilt and it was just snake enough. Snake up tilt. Oh just my enough to gosh. get him up to the upper blast zone. Oh, that was so good. Knew the jab back here wasn't gonna kill like that, so said, I'll just wait for an option. Right, Didn't yep. work out, but still really good. 
I was going to say, and Brandenburg found his footing, was able to get him onto that platform where the C4 was, and boom, baby. That was good, that like whole last couple seconds, I was like, he's really got this. <laughs> oh yeah. Brandon Gordon is on the board. But I think, um, yeah, I don't know. This I s still don't know. I feel like Frostbite still did pretty well that game, even oh, though, yeah, no, of course. even though like, even though like he kind of got like bodied in terms of stocks and percentages. Like, like the momentum, I felt like he didn't really lose that much. He just didn't kill, and I don't know. I feel like I feel like Frostbite could still bring this back. Like, I don't think I don't think Brandon Gordon has it solved yet. But I could be wrong. Well, that was not ideal, but no punish. Those things are like kind of hard to punish. Those like uh, bees like that. There we go. Brangorn kind of finding his footing here, able to kind of keep the momentum up a little bit. He just needed a he just needed a couple games. He's got this. the grenade placement's messing him up because Frostbite has like getting these 50-50s or air dodge reads. You can tell he's got the air dodge read, but because the grenade's in the way, he can't get a punish off of it. That's, that is what snake grenade was made for. Oh, misses the grab. Double grab, double miss grab. That's okay, he's still able to get a little bit of space back. Oh, blows up. Good up B, because it has armor on it, so that'll ignore the grenade completely. Oh geez, that's so scary from like being above sink like that. Like, I know. Oh, I could just hit you. It's not gonna kill really? yet. No. The grenade doesn't kill, I think, until like 200 maybe. No, but he's doing a really good job at kind of keeping Frostbite in the air. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, that might be. he's not dead, no. No, it's Snake, no. he's heavy. Also, he's on the other side of the stage. Nobody catches them coming down. It's so crazy. Snake has so many kill moves. It's so crazy how people live to 192 against Snake, but I see it all the time. It's like you don't have, you don't get the one thing you need to get the kill. I was gonna say uh, 197, just about almost oh, anything. Oh, pretty much all of Snake's moves. Yeah, will go like they're gonna get you. A Except grenade, maybe, but even then, it's like, it'll kill at like 200 something. You know, Brandon Gordon really using these explosions to his advantage. Oh, a little bit of a shift. He's gonna get oh, exploded, but he gets him again. Yeah. yeah. He was hanging out in that range a little too long, got exploded on. Uh, he comes back and he catches him on the platform, recovering high. We have seen him get caught before. Oh my god. I know, it's like... Those moments are so funny in Ultimate when people oh. run up on somebody else's shield. Oh, catches him trying to do the Nikita. Because it's really risky to do that, but it works sometimes because people just hold shield. They wait for their outer shield option and you don't still give it to them. Good job saving that jump. I didn't think he had a jump. Oh, very nice. That was a clean conversion. Like, oh, we don't have a kill throw? Let's make one. Let's make one with explosives. When life gets, gets doesn't give oh, you a nice kill throw. Oh, nice use of the green so we can get back. This is close. But yeah, it's We're going to get a game even. five. We might get a game five. We might. It's possible. If Rangoran can hold this. Oh, nice. If he's able to hold down the wall that he's kind of built for himself around and keep this pressure going. Oh! That was C4 
is so far away. He was so far away from that explosion, so he got hit. C4, baby. Another game five. Yeah, All right, running it back to Battlefield. If Brandon Gordon were to win this one, it would be a reverse 3-0. That's just to note, because Frostbite won the first two games. But, to, honestly, like I said before, I still don't think Frostbite is doing bad. It's not like he's, oh, no, no, no. he's getting destroyed after, like, you know, Brandon gets the download, even though it's a, it would be a reverse 3-0. No, these games are definitely, you know, a lot of, like, back and forth. I think at this point in the bracket, no one's really, like, clean sweeping, in my opinion. It's a lot of back and forth and having to kind of figure out those like little mind games that happen this late in bracket, you know, to kind yeah. of get on the win. A lot of different uh, players, but maybe around similar skill levels. But at least for an exciting bracket, though. There's also matchups, too. That's what makes Ultimate so interesting, because there's like so many matchups to learn. Yeah. Oh, see, Frostbite's not really trying to keep on the pressure. Okay, nice. Nice yeah, conditioning. Yeah. Gonna say, I watch out for those explosions, but he was ready for it. Yeah. Uh, wasn't ready for the really low recovery. No. But making Roy need to recover too is good to get you back. Oh yeah. All right, now he's got center stage. No. Air dodges get caught on the platform at 153. Make it rain explosion. Not enough to save ya. I saw Frostbite let out a little smile after getting that kill. Things feeling himself now. Ooh. Get back. Oh, oh no. Maybe a little too much, but. <laughs> well, I mean, when Snake is recovering low, you know, you gotta go for it. It's still gonna be a really close game. I don't think oh, yeah. that SD is gonna really. Yeah, see, he's got it. He's just kind of waiting for him to come down ready to catch him. Hold shield. All right, now we're playing a little bit of a dancing game here. Some DDR, so to speak. They're kind of getting a feel what's going to happen. <laughs> see for it so he can kind of recover. Not enough. He still gets caught in the air. Goes for the chase. <laughs> Some people in the background are cheering for Brandon right now. It makes sense because Brandon's a longtime member of the Michigan Smash community. Frostbite, more of an invader, even though he goes to school here. Now you know if. Brandon Gordon can clean out this sock sooner rather than later. That's going to be definitely a lot better for his odds of oh, taking yeah. this. Oh, yeah. Oh, but Frostbite's not going to make it easy. And the percent is high enough where Snake can get a kill tilt. now. Yeah. Plans be careful with the C4. Yeah, I mean, the C4. He's, they're playing a little bit of back and forth. Oh, he gets caught. Now he's in the air. Okay, good explosion. Okay. Oh, very nice. Okay, he went for it. Not enough. I kind of just went for that up smash. I don't blame him. He didn't get punished for it. <laughs> That's the second time this happened. I mean, just runs up to his shield. Why not? What's wrong with just running? It's like very unsafe because Brandon could just do anything, but it's like a, it's a, it's a thing. I don't really think we've seen Brandon do too much on the running option against the shield. He kind of just really. Okay, I was gonna say Brandon's at 69 now, so anything can happen. Not if anymore. he's able, if he's able to land and find his footing, if he can get some of that explosion, like wall that he was kind of being able to build, it's just gonna be really hard because Frostbite's not gonna let him do it. He's gonna want to keep on the pressure. You don't want to give Snake that time. 
And he's, he's going to go for the chase. I'm going to go for it. He got him a little bit. All right, kind of backing off on the space a little bit. Oh, yeah, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Very, that's it, very the close. Yeah, Frostbite does not miss those chairs. No, not at all. You get the jab, that's the end of it. Lots of people clapping down there. Everyone was like, okay, that was a